What's the difference between RG6 TV type coax cable and RG8X ham radio type coax cable? Both are about the same size. Well, you can get 100 feet of RG6 with connectors installed for about $25. At Ham Radio Outlet, 100 feet of RG8X with connectors installed, $100. Is there any real valid reason that you cannot use cheap TV-type coax cable for ham radio? Well, unless you're running high power, no. Well, what about the impedance? The impedance of RG6 is 75 ohms. Well, the impedance of a perfect dipole is 72 ohms. Now, which is a better match, 75 ohm coax or 50 ohm coax? Well, yeah, but transmitters are designed to operate into a 50-ohm impedance. Well, yes, they are. But that's why we have antenna tuners, transmatches, whatever you want to call them. If you have a desktop antenna tuner, it is a variable impedance transformer, an impedance matching device. It will do a fine job of matching impedances and delivering full power to the load. Here's another reason to consider using TV-type coax if you don't want to pay high prices. RG6 has lower loss than RG8X. Another more robust TV coax cable with a higher power rating, RG11, has less loss and costs a lot less than RG213. 100 feet of RG11 with connectors costs about $50. At Ham Radio Outlet, 100 feet of RG213 with connectors, $185. So why don't we all use cheap TV type coax? Well, maybe because the shield is aluminum and you can't solder a PL259 plug to the shield. TV coax typically uses F connectors. Now, should that always be a deal breaker? I'd say no. And you can purchase inexpensive F to PL259 adapters if you want. And a lot of hams don't solder the shield to the connector anyway. You know, there's no law that says we must use PL259 connectors or you face deportation. That's kind of like your SWR must be one. I did some uh, technical work at an AM radio station here in Florida. You know how the coax was connected to the transmitter? The center conductor was bolted to a feed-through insulator and the shield was bolted to the common ground. No connector. Why do we always have to use connectors? You know, you could certainly attach a coax line to your transceiver by installing a banana plug on the center conductor, stick that into the output jack, usually an SO239, it fits perfectly, like that, and attach the shield to the ground screw. I promise it'll work just fine. Try it. I bet you won't be able to tell any difference. A lot of Ham's reluctance to think differently on these issues all goes back to the biggest myth of all, your SWR has to be as close to one as possible. Everything has to be 50 ohms. The biggest pile of baloney in the great hobby of ham radio. Consider subscribing to this channel and 73.